Thanks for checking out UWBadgers.com. I'm Patrick Herb here in Camp Randall Stadium where the number 10 Wisconsin Badgers are preparing for this Saturday's opponent, number 12, Iowa. The Badgers are coming off a historic win over number one Ohio State and are looking to knock off back-to-back -back teams ranked in the top 25 for the first time since 2004. The team took Monday off from practice but returned to the turf on Tuesday with their sights set on replicating the performance they had last Saturday against Ohio State. Wisconsin ran for 184 yards on Ohio State's fourth ranked run defense and this Saturday will face an Iowa team that ranks seventh in the same category. We talked to left tackle Gabe Karimi about how Wisconsin was so successful doing something nobody else has been able to do. We were on our assignments uh, and we just came out with an edge. We practiced hard that whole week and we felt comfortable going into the game and everyone had a clear mind and we just attacked it. Okay. It seemed like we noticed a lot you guys would you know, fake the end round and then take it up the middle. On a, you know, like use that oh, yeah. as kind of a fake kind of a setup. Is it something? Do you see maybe hope to kind of play off there? Maybe them being too aggressive, over aggressive, anything like that? Or there? Um, basically, all that like? does is stun the linebackers. Oh, it doesn't do anything to the linemen. Uh, we call it a phony. You know, it's something something phony. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, honestly, it doesn't pertain to us too much. We just know that they, they might stagger, but they also might just not ignore it. So. Mm -hmm. It's just a tip off for us, you know. That's all Coach Chris <laughs> would have better questions about the answer than that. You got last week you played you went up against Cameron Hayward. This week you go up against Adrian Claiborne, two of the best defensive linemen in the country. Do you take it as a personal challenge to kind of showcase your skills against players of that caliber? Oh definitely. You know. Came out last week and I played well against uh, Hayward. He only had a four tackles and they were I think one of them was on me. But I mean it was a game for three, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, handled him well. Didn't get anywhere near the quarterback. There was no pressure by him, so I'm going to take that same challenge going on to this week, too. One of the big reasons Wisconsin is out to a 6-1 and one start is their two-headed rushing attack of John Clay and James White. The duo is the most productive backfield in all of college football and is averaging almost 200 yards per game with 20 touchdowns. We caught up with freshman James White after Tuesday's practice to ask him when he was able to stop celebrating the Ohio State win and start focusing on Iowa. Yeah, we, we turned our attention really quick. I mean, we celebrated that night, but we knew the next day we had to get ready and get prepared for Iowa because they're a great team also, and every Big Ten game is going to be it's going to be a physical game. So we had to go out here and be mentally prepared and just come out the same way we did last week. You've already had one Big Ten road game under your belt at Michigan State. What can you take from that game to help you prepare for this weekend? We just have to stay focused. I mean, you know, it's going to be loud. The crowd's going to be into it. I mean, it's going to be a great atmosphere. We just have to go in and just play our game. I mean, just, just act like we're at Camp Randall and just play the same way we played against Ohio State, and we'll come out there with a victory. That's all for Tuesday's update from Camp Randall Stadium. Check UWBadgers.com on Wednesday as we look at the health of the Wisconsin defense and examine the play of the Badgers secondary. Thanks for watching.